Hello and welcome to the Computer Lab Vids YouTube channel. Uh, and this video is on how to create a ringtone for your iPhone on your iMac using iTunes. So before we create the actual ringtone itself, uh, and this is using any music that you've got on your um, in your music library. Uh, so before we do anything with the actual uh, music, we need to actually first uh, just check a couple of settings. So make sure you've got iTunes open and selected. Uh, and you'll know this by the top menu here, we'll say iTunes. Uh, once uh, you are in this menu, you just need to go to iTunes into Preferences, which will bring up the General Preferences box here. Uh, and make sure you've got General selected um, on the bottom section where it says when a CD is inserted. Make sure you click Import Settings. Make sure you select AAC Encoder. So if yours is uh, on MP3, for example, make sure you have AAC uh, Encoder selected once you have. Click OK and then click OK again. Okay, so once we have done that, we now need to find something to convert. Now, if yours, um, the song that you're accessing is already in AAC, so it's already been ripped into AAC format, you can actually miss this bit. Uh, but I suggest you just follow it through just to understand what's going on. So um, I shall select one that is MP3. I know that this album here, uh, these songs are already in uh, MP3 format. But I'll just show you how to check. So if you uh, click on the song that you want to convert, you then right click. So make sure it's selected, it's shown in the blue. And then you right click um, and then you get info. Uh, so once it's in the get info box here, which you can see, um, you click on the file section just to check what the uh, type of format it is. And it says kind, um, MPEG audio. Now if it's AAC, it will suggest that it, uh, it will tell you there that it's AAC audio. Uh, but I need to convert this to AAC. This is the first thing that we need to do. Um, so we just cancel this for a second. So make sure that we have the song, because we'll just check what this one is actually. So that'll do for the uh, ringtone. So we make sure, again, make sure it's selected. Then we go back up to the um, menu at the top, make sure that it's obviously iTunes menu. And then in here, we go to file, convert, and we want to create an AAC version. Uh, the reason why we set the, right at the beginning of the video, um, that needs to be set so we can actually view the AAC version here. So we create AAC version. And then when I click AAC version, you'll notice just underneath the um, blue highlighted song in the iTunes menu, another version will pop up. So I click AAC version. You'll notice here, there we go. So this is the one that's created. Just wait for it to convert it. And that's it converted. So now if I right click on this uh, song, just to double check that I have the right one selected. We now need to get info again, go to file, and this should now be the AAC audio, which it is. Okay, so now that we're happy we've created the AAC audio version, we now need to uh, reduce the size down. Our ringtones can only be 30 seconds long, so you could, you could uh, pick where you want to start and stop within the song. Uh, I'm just going to start this one from the beginning, so I'm starting at 0 seconds, and I'm going to stop at 30 seconds, because that's the maximum I can have. But for example, if I wanted to start at um, 30 seconds, I would then go to uh, 60 on this second box here, and that would give me a 30 second clip. So obviously if these are not ticked, it will just put it back to the default length for the song. So I want to start at zero and finish at 30 seconds. And then click OK. Now at this point, it's literally just telling it where it wants to uh, start and stop. I haven't done anything else as yet. Uh, and if I just hover over the song, you can see there it's 422. So there's still the same length a song. I haven't done anything with it yet, and I still have two versions. This is my MP3 version. This is my AAC version that I've just told I want to be 30 seconds. So again, I need to go back up to the file, convert, create an AD, uh, AAC version, and it will create another version underneath. So now, if I just click on this one, you can see there it's at 30 seconds. Um, so MP3 version, AAC version, and my AAC version at 30 seconds. So now we have this version, I can now highlight it, left click on my mouse, drag it onto my desktop, 
and let go. Back into the menu here. Now this is really important because if you don't do this, it won't create the actual ringtone. So I'm now that I've got a version saved on to my desktop, I can delete these uh, other versions. I'm going to leave the original version, the MP3, but I'm going to delete this one, which is the one that I just created. So I'll delete from library. I can delete this from library. All this is deleting is the AAC version. Move to trash. You need to make sure that you move to trash. Again, select the. This is the uh, 30 second version here. I need to select this one. Really important. I need to delete this one, otherwise it will not recognize the ringtone. So right click, delete from library, delete song, move to trash. Okay, so now um, I'm back to normal. Uh, this is exactly how we looked at the album initially, and I also have this. Uh, 30 second clip that I created here over to the uh, we need to rename this song now so double click now I'm going to shorten it down a bit just to uh, just so it's a bit easier to see when we go into a second so the main thing here is it's an M4A file we need to go to the end file format delete the A change it to an R so it's an M4R push return we then get the box that says, do you want to keep M4R or use? We want to use M4R. So use M4R. Double check that it's picked that up. So it has. Now we've done that. Back into iTunes. Up into uh, the menu at the top here. And we want to click on tones. If yours uh, does not show tones, you can go to edit menu. And then you can pick what uh, to view. So for example, if my... Um, so if I didn't want to show tones, I would just click on the tones button. Um, and so if I click done now, you can see that I have no view of tones. If you can't see tones, click on edit menu, click on the tones, click on done. We can then go and select that. So once you've got the tones, this is just selecting, uh, showing on the actual uh, iMac what um, ringtones that I have currently on here. So now if I just go over to my ringtone here, select the ringtone, left click drag it into the actual tone let go and then you can see there that's the one we just created it tells me it's 30 seconds long that's the name and if I just play it so we now have your uh, 30 seconds uh, ringtone uh, and it's now ready to sync to your phone in the usual way so thank you very much for watching my channel um, if this video has helped if you can please just give us a thumbs up below or any comments are always appreciated.